Hello my little tattoo lovers and everyone else. So it's one year anniversary of P3 Pro. So let's uh, talk about it a little bit and uh, what have been broken, what have not been broken and a lot of info again, like always. Let's start. So the model of uh, EZP3 Pro have one year. Maybe not today, maybe yesterday, or maybe tomorrow, but it was released a year ago. So, I was working with this machine and this machine. It is completely the same machines, uh, P3 Pro. And the reason why I have two, well, first of all, I'm lazy. And uh, one I'm setting up for one stroke and another one for a different stroke. So, for example, when I'm working with the small details, I need 4.2 stroke, and it is like a small needles. And for other stuff, like magnums or bigger needles, I'm using 3.7 or 3.3, let's put it like this. The reason why I'm doing it is because, uh, well, first of all, it makes my life much more easier when I'm working, and it's just... Uh, better i don't know it's just inflow is much more better when you have a different uh, strokes you know maybe you have seen other artists are using as well multiple machines and this is exactly why because we need different strokes and like i said i'm lazy so that's why i have two machines i would like to talk today about p3 pro p3 turbo and uh, this uh, new release Evo Pro, Evo Tech Pro. We're gonna start with P3 Pro. <clears throat> so, to make this machine, EZ was actually going pro a lot of different machines. I'm gonna show you this in a later. But this is the masterized version for realism. I would easily say, because it's just perfect for uh, black and grey and color work. I would not say the same about line work, but for lines we're gonna have absolutely different machines, what we can talk about. Dot work, whip shape, as well we have a different machine for that. We're gonna talk about it later. So, I was working I guess thousands of hours already with these machines because uh, I work quite a lot and usually my session is like 8 hours so more than 1000 hours for sure we just can calculate like 100 days it is already 800 hours so double it, easy what have been broken? nothing Nothing was broken. Uh, the only one issue what they have with the first models was the battery. Battery connection. It was a uh, few models only. What they was actually asking people to give it back. And they was exchanging it for a new one. And that's it. So, one year of working. With these machines, uh, nothing broke. Uh, I think this really shows the passion and quality of this company, which are giving to us tattoo artists. I personally will never promote things what I don't like. And that's it. Because I have a lot of machines from EZ that I was never promoting, because simply I don't like it. So, I don't really see a reason for me to promote something what I don't like. So, you possibly can buy and don't like as well. So, uh, for me, it's very important. So, I'm honest with you. And yes. <laughs> it is quite simple and uh, fast explanation about P3 Pro because I cannot find any mistakes what I don't really like. No, actually I can't, because uh, the only thing what I don't like is uh, when you are, for example, working and you want to switch the cartridge, it's better to turn off the machine 
and uh, every machine is telling the same that it's better to turn it off, switch the cartridge and turn it on again. And uh, if you don't do it like this, you may have this strange sound. And it may sound like a machine is getting broken, but no, no, no. It's only because there is a bar which is going up and down, which is regulating the stroke, yeah? And uh, that's why you can have a sound like this. So, for example, I turn it on and... Uh, see? And it's only because of the bar inside, which is uh, regulating the stroke. It's not the only machine, most of the machines are like this, with this sound, so it's completely normal. So, if you like to do realism, shadows, color, and everything which is connected to this stuff, micro-realism for example, then I really suggest you to try P3 Pro. Uh, I'm gonna leave the link in the comment or description. It's gonna be lifetime 10% discount for you. So if you want, buy it. I was asking for a statistics from EZ. And uh, in one year time, P3 Pro was produced 25,000 units. 25,000 units and uh, what I one more thing what I like about is that they have one year warranty. So if anything happens with your machine, you easy contact them, send the machine back or even don't send the machine back and they are just sending you a new machine without even asking questions. <clears throat> and honestly, this is a really high standard for me, because for example, when I was uh, in another team uh, American brand, let's put it like this when I was breaking, uh, breaking the motor I needed to send the machine back waiting for a few months to receive it as well paying for the shipping and everything like this and I was a pro team member and the pro team members are getting everything for free and not only that pro team members should have a reserve uh, so you cannot really stop working you know so with that brand I didn't have this option because it was too much complicated you need to send it back and then you just wait a lot and uh, in the two years time when I was working with that machines I broke six of them I have uh, all of them here and it's still not fixed, you know. I was just uh, telling that, come on, I cannot wait so long, just send me the new machine and that's it. So, one year time, nothing broke. Completely nothing. People who had problems with P3 Pro, who was contacting me, I was always uh, telling, please contact EZ. And every single one of them who had a problem, uh, EZ fixed it without asking questions. People just got new machines and that's it. So this is a... <laughs> I don't know, you just uh, decide by yourself. For me, this is proof of the quality, you know, and the proof of uh, taking care of the two artists. There is a reason why I stay with EZ all this time, because I really believe in this company. And uh, not because I'm sponsored by this company. Like I told you before, I will never use something what I don't like. Or promote something what I don't like. So, if you have P3 Pro, write in comments uh, what's your opinion on it. Uh, how you are working with this. For what you are using this. Let's have a discussion in the chat. So, for me, P3 Pro is complete leader for my work. And I've tried extremely big amount of machines. It's not like I'm working only with one thing. No, I'm always trying something new. If I'm going somewhere, I can ask another artist uh, to give me for a try uh, their brands. And uh, I always return back to EZ Pro. 
this is this is like how it's working. I don't know. Just uh, yeah, I have no really bad words about it. So this is about realism, color, black and gray, micro realism. These machines are really good with the uh, super small uh, lines and uh, small details. Okay, we're gonna move. So the next machine, what we are talking about, I actually don't have it here because I gave it uh, to Rafael because he needed more than me. So turbo uh, here, this is turbo. I made a full review <coughs> on turbo. You can check it uh, in this link. I hope I will manage how to understand YouTube. So maybe it's here, maybe it's here or whatever, or maybe it's in the description on the video, but I'm gonna write where is it. So turbo, it is a P3 Pro turbo. This machine is a beast. It is extremely powerful machine. If you didn't see the full review, please check it out first or later after this video, just to understand how powerful is this machine. Uh, extremely powerful. As well, stroke can be changed from, if I remember correctly, from 3 to 5 millimeters. And on these 5 millimeters, it is uh, crazy. Uh, people are doing black work like solid. Uh, tribal solid. Super fat lines, extremely solid. And uh, because of the engine, how it's built of uh, turbo, you don't really have so much trauma. So I think my next uh, experiment will be, I will be working with uh, turbo, but I will be regulating these machines in a different way. So I can actually work with my style with a black and grain color. And the reason why I want to do this, well, first of all, I seen few healed works from Turbo and it is healing a little bit different. And different, I will say, the Turbo is giving much more color under the skin. So if I understand correct, and if I'm gonna find a way how to set up uh, strokes for these machines in the best way for color it will be amazing because uh, I have for example this piece and this piece I started with turbo continued with P3 Pro and I finished it with P3 Pro but what I realized and seen on the session number three it was different sessions so one two three and we had two months healing in between of them. So what I seen, the part what I was doing with Turbo is looking a little bit more contrasted. I may be wrong, but I don't really think so. The problem with Turbo was not with the machine, it was with the customer, because customer was telling, when I was switching from Pro to Turbo, he was telling, Look, it's amazing, it's not bleeding, but it is much more painful to have tattoo done with Turbo. So that's my future experiment, how to make it less painful with Turbo and have much more brighter and contrasted tattoos on healed result with Turbo than with P3 Pro. I cannot say that the tattoos heals like shit with Pro. No, it's, uh, it's perfect. But with Turbo, it gives extra ink under the skin yeah, which is really good for color and it's working faster I would say 40% faster speed of uh, actually working maybe not 40 for me 30 but for you it may be different so yeah if you want uh, to try turbo uh, I'm gonna leave the link in the description if you have turbo please write in the comments of what are your feelings about it and what you are doing and how it's working with you because why I'm asking you to make comments guys well first of all I cannot be the only one with the opinion it's much more better if we have the conversation because people are really reading comments and this is really cool this is amazing and in the comment section uh, 
For example, if someone don't trust me, they can listen to your advice. And maybe you can help someone else, you know? And I think uh, I'm doing all these uh, videos, whatever, only just to help and nothing else. So yeah, something like this. Um, okay, let's move. Let's go to Lightsaver. So this is uh, Evotech Pro. In this machine, what you can do? Well, first thing what I don't like, and uh, maybe that's uh, the reason why I didn't promote this machine. Well, first of all, you cannot regulate stroke. And uh, for me, it's very important. Maybe that's why I didn't use it so much. I cannot say it's uh, bad for the healing or while working. No, it's uh, for everyone is completely different. But this machine is built different. It's built not for me. Uh, this machine is not built for realism, I would say. This machine, what you can do inside is uh, you can adjust the power of needle how it is getting hit so basically in this machine you can adjust heat of the needle like a coil and until micro pigmentation this is how it's working so basically it's uh, uh how should i say uh, these are the volts what you are using and the upper part is the thing which is regulating the softness and hardness of the heat of the needle. So for people who are doing dot work, this is a must-have thing, I think. Well, first of all, for dot work, you don't really need to regulate anything. I mean about the stroke. You just need a precise heat. And this machine had this because of the inside. <clears throat> it does not allow to make any kind of vibration to the cartridge because it's a... Uh, I just show you. So, uh, if you can see the inside where the cartridge is going, it's, it's built in the way, so... the cartridge, the... wait... this thingy of the cartridge is always in the same position and the needle pusher, this thingy which is pushing the cartridge out, is always in the same position as well. And it's built different, not like a, just a, a circle or something like this. No, no, it's a built with a thing which is holding the cartridge inside, you know? So it is always giving in the same... Uh, needle is going in the same position basically super super precise so lines i would not say that this machine is amazing for a fat line no 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 this machine is built for people who are doing dot work fine lines uh, micro realism all these kind of thingies where you need this extra super precision as well what i didn't like about this machine is uh, when i was working this uh, start and stop button is it's here so every time when you're work when i was working i i had this problem that uh, i just switch it off so if we compare pro all the buttons are up you have display everything is visible everything is extremely comfortable then here i was telling to you that uh, that it Maybe it's just impossible to put the buttons more up, maybe, because of the structure of the machine of the inside. But for me personally, it's not comfortable, but it is super light. So if you really want to try this, and they are promoting it now, you can uh, check link in the description. But uh, for me, there is only two leaders, and this is uh, P3 Pro and Turbo. For sure, 100%, and just that's it. I, I don't even know if I want to switch to anything else. Because I feel complete with uh, Pro, 
Now we're gonna start the test with turbo and I'm just really waiting for this test with turbo. I personally will not work with uh, Evotec Pro at this stage. If uh, this machine gonna get modernized, we're gonna have uh, additional stroke, it will be perfect. For example, if this machine with the regulation of the heat of the needle will be like this machine, then we can talk about it. But for now, it, it just cannot compare, uh, compete. These machines cannot compete together, you know? This whole will win, in my opinion. And uh, again, you see, I'm talking shit about the new product, for example. And uh, I can do this, because I don't want to lie to you. It's honest. So I don't really care what is it gonna tell to me that oh you made a bad uh, promotion. No. Education, education, make it better. Uh, we need better. I need better personally. So yeah, but yeah. You wanna talk how it was created? Everything? Okay. So how it all started. I still think that first model, what was P2, now Pro, nothing, just P2, this one. I don't know how they did it, but it is still super comfortable to work with. It is a 4.5 stroke and uh, from the start the batteries was changing like this, you know. Maybe you have this machine, some of it was just a battery like this, yeah. This machine, when I just uh, started to work with this, I was so amazingly surprised, especially because I switched off from flux. I really don't like flux. So flux was the first wireless machine. And this was the second wireless machine. Both of these machines uh, didn't have uh, any stroke regulation, it was just a uh, voltage. But this machine was so sta st stable, I would say, like stabilization of this machine was so good. And the weight is perfect. I don't know, this was like, you know, first try is the luckiest one. So. This machine was the beginner of final version of Pro. They even are looking a little bit similar, you know? The balance of these machines are perfect. I don't suggest to buy you this. I don't even think you can buy this anymore. But uh, super awesome machine. Actually, I need to charge it and work a little bit with that. I'm kind of... I miss this machine a little bit. <clears throat> so, after P2, which was super awesome, they released P2 Pro or P2S. No, P2S. Yes, P2S. I don't have P2S here, I just gave it away to another artist. No point of collecting uh, machines what I don't use. The next generation, basically this one, this uh, P2S, it was uh, smaller, the battery was inside already, it was like this, yeah, so no more A, A batteries. The power of that machine was uh, minimum more like 60%. It was interesting to work with this machine, but uh, from the other side it was a difficult one. But people who are doing cover-ups was buying that machine like crazy and uh, actually buying multiple ones just in case if it will be broken so they can start using another one straight away. And the price is super crazy cheap, uh, to be honest. If we compare to any other non-Chinese, let's say, uh, brands, these machines are extremely cheap. 
So, after that, uh, we was uh, talking more and more about uh, VTZ and uh, they released one model what I was using for one and a half year and I was actually thinking that this is like, this is final, you know, I don't need more. And this was uh, first Evotech. Evotech is crazy amazing machine. The only thing what I would love to have in Evotech is a uh, stroke changing. But Evotech and Evotech Pro are completely different machines. This Evotech is almost masterized version for me that P3 Pro. We need to, we really need to have this, uh, <clears throat> how should I say, the, the feeling how you work or something like this. It is very, very similar and fuck, I really love this machine. I spent so many hours with this, more than with this. But because I didn't have this. Now I have this, I don't need this. But I really like this. So, but I'm gonna start, I can continue working with this. And this machine, I really, really liked it. Because it is super soft. When you're working with uh, black and gray, it is perfect. Uh, just too much uh, warm memories about it. And after this, I was like, come on guys, uh, make uh, like a, a stroke adjuster, you know, we really need this. So, they made P3, no Pro, just P3. Uh, yeah, you can change the stroke. I don't know if it's charged, let's see. Oh, still charged. Imagine, I didn't use it for almost two years. Still charged. And the problem with this machine was uh, they made this thing, the bar which is regulating the stroke, but it was not uh, completely well think through, I guess. And uh, one day someone just dropped it on the floor and uh, since then it had this sound, you know. It is still working, but you need to find this uh, perfect position to regulate this uh, thingy which is pushing the needle out. So this is the first P3. For me personally, it is a nice experiment, but it is a failure because there is no balance, it is uh, heavy. Uh, it's not so comfortable to regulate stroke. Plus the needle out in is way too close. So it was uh, not comfortable. Plus this thing inside is getting damaged super fast. So they canceled it. You think they went straight away to P3 Pro? No. After people started to say that battery is not enough, I don't really understand how, because I'm working with one machine, for example, minimum 8 hours, it cannot be drained completely, the battery. I don't know for how many volts you need to work to drain the battery. <clears throat> so I said, said, okay, we're gonna make this. I don't even remember the name of this machine. This machine <laughs> you, you understand look all of this is a battery so i was making experiment and i was working with this machine three days in a row and i didn't uh, drain the battery i think it is it is still 39 percent so i was using it only once and uh, <laughs> it's still charged and still 39 percent the reason why i didn't continue to work with this because uh, I think they made it just for fun and uh, it cannot really compete with uh, Evotech, uh, this one, the previous model, because this is much more better for using. Like it has a balance, you know, it's perfectly regulated, amazing to work. This uh, was just for fun. <clears throat> so we don't even take it serious. And then they went for 
this machine. Uh, this machine is built specially for people who like to use pedal. Just a second. So here is a pedal, here is a wireless machine. You just press the pedal and it's working. You can use it as a coil machine with a pedal or rotary machine with a pedal. Honestly, I did not understand the joke. Uh, who was forcing Z to do this? I think it was just uh, a troll, in my opinion. Because, uh, I mean, who the hell needs pedal? We're in 2023 at that point when they released it. Who needs pedal? Can explain someone explain to me? Because I don't need it for sure. And uh, I think is it made it on a super quick hand because even the display is super small. It maybe was made from a different leftover parts or whatever. So it is balanced, but uh, I was not using so much. Only one or two tattoos, and I understand that this machine is not for me. <clears throat> and is that I guess understand that this was a joke? So they, I, I hope, cancelled it. And only after that machine, when they sent this to me, uh, I think maybe you can see this video about uh, this P3 Pro. Oh my god. This was the life changer straight away. I was like, what the hell? They sent me two straight away. I always ask for two machines. Uh, the reason why is uh, well, I'm lazy with uh, regulation of the strokes. And the second, uh, if I was working, for example, with this, it is not regulated. I was also always asking for a spare one so I can give it to someone else to try. Or if this one will be broken, it didn't, I can have a spare straight away. So I don't stop working. And when this motherfucker came out, I was like, what? And all my expectations of uh, a year before video, when it just released, all what I was thinking about this machine, it actually came true. And uh, this is so funny that uh, without even working with this machine for a long time at that point, I already straight away understand what this machine is made for and it was made perfectly for realism. I am still so happy with this. It's my precious. So yeah, this was a, like a small evolution tour for you. Write in the comments what you have from these machines for example and how you feel about it. Maybe you sold it or maybe you just keep it as a souvenir like me. Uh, whatever. Write any questions in the comments, like, share, video, whatever, subscribe. Uh, all the links have this 10% discount for you. Uh, if you buy something with these links, you can support me. So I don't do these videos for free, for all, forever. Uh, and you can have 10% discount, discount as well. So, yeah. What can I say? <laughs> See you in the next video. Get a P3 Pro or Turbo. Something like this. Okay, ciao.